What is Oklahoma football's ceiling under Brent Venables? Can the Oklahoma Sooners win a national championship under Brent Venables? This is a question we now need to ask ourselves going into year three with this staff because we had that conversation when Lincoln Riley was here and the expectations were not met, but the expectations might change a little bit going into the SEC. But I want to hear from y'all. So join the discussion. Jump down in the comments below. Give me your thoughts and your opinions on what you think the ceiling is for Oklahoma. And do you think Oklahoma can win a national championship under Brent Venables? And if you guys watch ESPN, you guys know who Greg McElroy is, former Alabama quarterback and has a college football podcast. Great college football podcast, by the way. But uh, he had an interesting take the other day on Oklahoma and their chances to win a national championship. So I want you guys to listen to this real quick, and then we're going to dive into it. So I look at everything, and people are probably going to say, oh, that's a really no low number. I think the likelihood of winning a national championship at Oklahoma right now for Brent Venable is 10%, which to me feels like a pretty good number. Because right now, if I were to rank the SEC 1 through 16 heading into 24, I have Oklahoma somewhere in the middle which means they're probably in the vicinity of an eight and four, seven and five football team. In order to get to the playoff, I think you need to be at least 10 and two. And depending on the year, maybe nine and three gets you there. And depending on how things sort themselves out for Oklahoma, maybe they can get there sooner than later. But I think there's going to be a little bit of growing pains as they transition into the league. And as a result, I'm going to put that number a little lower than I probably would if they were to remain in the Big 12, because I think in the Big 12, they have a much better chance of having easier access to the playoff. And I just don't know if it's going to happen on an annual basis in the SEC the way it happened on an annual basis throughout their run on the last 25 years of dominance in the Big 12. So I put it at 10% for Brent Venables and Oklahoma. Now, that's an interesting take there. Um, and one that I don't necessarily think I disagree with, right? The dominance in the Big 12, I don't think Oklahoma fans are going to carry that expectation over to the SEC because, well, it just means a little bit more in that conference, and that includes the competition because you still are going into Alabama and Georgia's conference. And if you're Oklahoma, a 10% chance at a national championship is not bad. Like, you're going to give yourself an opportunity. And this is where we need to dive into uh, the ceiling of Oklahoma before we dive into what I think if Oklahoma can win a championship. But the ceiling for Oklahoma is 100% national championship under Brent Venables. And I want to tell you why. Because you might be saying, well, that's just too easy to say. The reason why I say the ceiling for a national championship under Brent Venables is a national championship is because when you look at the past 10 years, maybe even a little bit further. The teams that have won national championships have had one of two things, either an identity around defense or a defensive-minded head coach. Example, Georgia, Kirby Smart, defensive-minded head coach. Nick Saban, defensive-minded head coach. Michigan, defensive-minded head coach. Then you have Clemson. Now, they're kind of the... Oddball out here. Dabo Sweeney, not necessarily a defensive-minded head coach, but his teams have the identity of a defensive team. That's what they held their hat on because they had Brent Venables there. Notice Brent Venables left. Clemson kind of took a little bit of a step back. And so with Oklahoma, you've got one of the best defensive minds in college football now leading the team. The question is, is that Brent Venables going to be able to bring it all together to be able to get to the national championship. And we saw that although you lost Lincoln Riley, who was just able to spurt out elite offenses, but put out one of the worst defenses in college football every year, kind of incredible about that. You look at it and say, okay, Jeff Levy had the offense rolling at a pretty significant level to Lincoln Riley's offense. You would expect Seth Luttrell and Joe John Finley are going to pick up similar things to what Jeff Levy was doing. So the question is, is Brent Venables going to be able to get the defense where it needs to be? And I'm, I think the answer is yes, because he's already doing things that we didn't see Lincoln Riley do. And in the previous couple of years of Bob Stoops weren't doing, which was you started stacking elite people on the defensive line. Uh, hence, last cycle, we got David Stone and Jay Jackson, and that's completely shifted the narrative around defensive line and Oklahoma football. 
But Oklahoma's landed five or three five star defensive players since they've gotten here. PJ Adebayore, David Stone, mind you, both of those guys are on the defensive line, and Peyton Bowen in the safety room. So you would look at it and say, you're recruiting blue chippers better in the Brent Venables era. You're recruiting defensive line fives or just defensive five star players better at Oklahoma. And it doesn't seem like your offense has taken a step back yet. Now, we need to see what the offense is going to look like this year. But just off that, you think the ceiling for Oklahoma has to be a national championship. And this is where the floor for Oklahoma under Brent Venables kind of plays in to the national championship odds. The floor for Oklahoma, I think, is anywhere between eight to nine wins every year. That's the floor, I think, for Brent Venables. And nine to ten wins? in the SEC, in the 16-team playoff format, likely gets you in the playoffs. Maybe sometimes contending for an SEC championship. And we know if you have nine regular season wins and your 10th win comes in the SEC championship, you're making the playoffs. So I think the floor kind of ties into the ceiling a little bit, right? Because with the playoffs expanding, you're giving yourself an opportunity to be able to go out there and compete for a national championship every single year. But again, the expectations that Oklahoma football had every single year, which was to go win the Big 12, go compete. At the time, it was in the BCS, and it went to the playoffs, but go compete for a national championship or put yourself in a position to go win one, right? I think the expectations of the latter half of that, to win an SEC championship, those are going to have to die down a little bit because you're not going to go spurt off, what was it, uh, six straight Big 12 championships? You're not going to do that in the SEC. Now, you might get one or two in six years, but you're not going to get six straight or seven straight. Now, you might some years not win the SEC and win the national championship. That's just how it's going to go. You're giving yourself an opportunity by making the playoffs. So, 100%. Ceiling for Oklahoma. National championship under Burn Venables. Four, eight to nine wins. And that leads me into this. Is Oklahoma going to win national championship under Burn Venables? Like, do I actually think that's going to happen? Yes, I do. And I think it's going to maybe take maybe two more years, I think, for Oklahoma to really put themselves in a great position. That's not to say that they don't have a really good team this year that acts like the 2000 team just kind of catches everybody out of the blue and goes and wins one. But I think in two years, you're going to see Oklahoma for sure contending for a national championship or they will be in that game. So, yeah, I think they can win one under Burn Venables. They have all of the tools and the makings of a national championship team. The question is, are they going to be able to continue to build on what they've been able to do? Because you're competing with Georgia and Alabama. This is still their conference. You've got to be able to go in and you got to take it from them this year. So I want to hear from y'all. Uh, make sure you guys are joining the discussion, jumping down in the comments below. I want to hear from what you guys think about the ceiling is, the floor is, and if you think Brent Venables can win a national championship at the University of Oklahoma.